It's our turn. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we're back. We are. We are getting so good at this. It's fantastic. We want to say who we are. Well, Knitting in our jeans. And I'm Elizabeth. I'm Carolyn. And welcome back. If you are a returning viewer, if not, thank you for joining us That's today. That's right. It's really nice that coming by. Yeah. I'm really looking. I love this. You're I'm having really, a lot of I'm fun. I'm having a great deal of fun. I've had a heck of a day. I've spent the entire day saying, hi, can I help you? Do you have any questions? Let me tell you. Because we've had an open house at school and I, I love talking to people. So this is just an extension. And someone asked me what I had on. Oh, you got to tell them about it. I got it. to tell them. This is a Vogue Patterns of Winter 2010. It is the, I guess you could guess, it's the tie neck sweater. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's in the Vogue Winter 2010. And, uh, yeah, I actually had someone ask me. Isn't it Sweet Georgia, right? Yes. Yes, so it is a... Um, fingering weight. Fingering weight. Sweet Georgia. It Sweet Georgia pills... So, what is that tool that I have? Your gleaner. Gleaner. The gleaner is a over, wonderful thing. I need to bring over, like, all of my sweaters so that we can just go to town. Maybe next week. Or maybe get a gleaner for you. Or maybe, get, but you should, I... The gleaner is great. It doesn't hurt your knits, and it pulls all the pills off. And who, oh, Inside 23. Mm -hmm. Um, her name? Kate? Kate. KT. KT. KT has used it on her sofa to oh. defuzz her sofa. So... Um, it's a great thing. I love it. And it really has made a difference because the sweater was looking grayish in places and it was really all the pills. So yeah. I've had a great day. I'm looking forward to talking to you all. So it sounds good. Um, um yes, go ahead. In other news, we are in my apartment, hence the bare wall because I rent. Um, but, but we're going to be able to hold up things. Yes. And I've, I've made a We host a New Year's Eve party and... Last year, my mother said, please bring your friends. Please, 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 please bring your friends. I'm so tired of hearing the old stories. The 99th Over. time. Over. Yes. Again. So, since last New Year's, I have been inviting my friends to come. We and have 200 people coming. No, not quite No, that not that quite many. <laughs> but we have a good amount of people coming, and I have a good amount of people coming to stay at my apartment. Yes. So, my goal is I've already talked to my father about this because oh. not that I am unable to do it myself, but I also kind of feel like he'd enjoy being a part of mm -hmm. this. Um, I have a very large frame that I bought this past summer, and I'm going to put blocking boards on it and put it up on the wall. And then I'm, I'm going to probably it. get two more frames of different sizes um, to put on the wall as well in a gallery wall type of thing. But it's also going to be blocking boards. That's what the Brilliant. plan is for this one. Brilliant. So over the next, probably, well, by New Year's, you will see that. That's right. That's that right. is my goal. I have a goal. It's a good goal. I think so, too. I like it. And we're drinking tea because it is, although it is, what, 65 degrees out, 70 degrees out, it is raining. Pouring. You I might be able to hear it I on my air conditioner. From the airport, and I, I, I was ready to walk into the terminal. I looked out. I got out of the car. I got out of the car. I looked up. Went, oh my lord! It looked like midnight was arriving, mm -hmm. and it was only four o'clock in the afternoon. I got back in the car and said, uh, "Let me know when you have your bag <laughs> and you're ready to walk out. I'll come get you because it looks like rain is just going to open up." And it did. There I was got this, in the car. We. Exited the airport and it came down. And there was this great wind that was throwing all kinds of debris on the highway and swirling. You know, if a tornado had started, I would not have been surprised. We looked later at the weather on our cell phones and we were in the middle of a bright red rainstorm. So it is, um, it tornadic is a, yeah. action can happen. I don't think it was a tornado by any means, but certainly they had reported gusts up to 50 miles an hour. I'm so glad she landed before that happened. Yeah, so yeah. glad. Um, but I'm drinking out of my knitting Harley Quinn mug. Oh, how cool. Um, that a friend of mine in the Nerd Girl Yarns group on Ravelry got me for one of our swaps. I believe it was the hot tea swap. What and am I I'm, drinking out of? You're drinking out of, um, so Kim's on Ravelry, K-I-M-S, yes. uh, is one of our friends. And she was, needed to... Remove, de-stash de -stash some pottery. So she made this lovely mug, and Mother can't show you because it's full of tea. Right. But at the base of it, it has um, the grim 
and Ooh. tea leaves. So, and so Kim's was like, I need to give it to a friend who enjoys Harry Potter. And right. of course I enjoy Harry Potter. So that was It's full that. Of Earl Grey. Yeah, she's having uh, Earl Grey with some wildflower honey, and I'm having an Earl Grey and cream kind of. Uh, it's got a little bit of a vanilla. Uh, How does it taste? It tastes very good. That's the one from the, the black. Yep, yeah. the black uh, uh, pouch. Nice. Okay. Yeah, um, I have a tea set up in my living room because there wasn't room in my kitchen, and <laughs> I drink a, a lot of New tea. York apartment kitchen. Uh, yeah, and it's, and it's nice to have that over there. Yeah, I just I enjoyed it when we were setting up the apartment. And I brought in and I put the tea kettle over there, and father goes. My father goes, you can't put your tea kettle straight on your cabinet, because I have a set of cabinets. And I was like, I can't? And he goes, no, you need to have something under that. So I pull out a tray that I got at a yard sale, because I was going to refinish it for a swap I was doing, but then I realized it was a little bit too much work for that swap, because I had already done a lot of work for the swap. Uh, and I go, oh, look what I have, a tea tray. <laughs> and he just looks at me like... Of course, oh, my daughter will Foiled have... again. Yes. Foiled again. Yes, of course my daughter has the perfect answer for this statement I have made now. Yes. So that's what we are pointing to is our tea. So that is that is what's happening. And if anybody's wondering why I have semi-straight hair, oh, I have yeah. to get my hair colored <laughs> on Friday. This is Sunday. And they worked for... And then, of course, it was blown out because they didn't want to send me out in the cold. It was cold at that time <laughs> uh, with wet hair. And the woman worked for 45 minutes... Two-handed, oh. pulling it, and then blowing it. So today, as I'm at the open house, so many people came up and said, I love your hair. Oh, well, I, I'm glad. But it would it's take not going to last. another an hour and a half, probably, oh. trying and, to and figure it out. And another arm, because I just, I'm not that coordinated. So I hope they like it while it's not being washed this week, because so, and, and, it's going to be curly next week. Oh, well. And they can just enjoy the next time I go to the hairdressers and get it blown out again. Yeah. <laughs> It was funny. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so in other news, uh, we've been doing a lot of knitting. We As have. we said, I came in, uh, I went to Pittsburgh to see uh, my boyfriend this weekend. Um, that was fun. Uh, I got some knitting done. I can show you a little bit of it. Um, it's a present for a friend, but that's okay. Um, it's, sorry, it's a little tangled on the needles. Um, I think it's gorgeous. It is. It's the Pincha. Shawl from Nitty Summer 2016, I think. Um, wow. It's meant to be for gradient yarn, or variegated yarn, so it's working out really well. It's in the Dragon Sock Mardi Gras Mambo colorway, and she lives in New Orleans, and I'm actually going down to Mardi Gras this year um, mm. for my cousin's 30th birthday, and I'm going down early to see my friend in some parades. So I figured as a thank you for putting up, cool. putting me up, I would make her something. And I actually had That's a different yarn. It's Mardi Gras. Well, I mean, it is called Mardi Gras Mama. I love it. And I, well, I had shown her another yarn that I fell in love with that I loved, but it, it, it was black and green and purple. And she was like, oh, Mardi Gras colors. And I was like, honey, no, you're not getting this yarn. This is, this is yarn for me. <laughs> so then I had to obviously find, because she was like, you know, I don't have a, have a shawl or a cowl or I, I don't have anything if it, if it happens to be cold for Mardi Gras. And I was like, oh my God, that would oh be a no. Yeah. But she's knit worthy. She's, yes. ner she's worthy in general. Yes. So. Yes. She is putting putting me up for a few days. So, so I show them the... The the progress of the... The dressing the gown. The dressing gown. Yes. This has been very exciting because remember, if you remember last week, she was, my mother was not sure if she was going to get it to the... 50 percent you know 50 percent mark for her uh my project her robe by the end of the month she has she's now going to stand on my couch to show you all <laughs> so i have gotten whoops. Go. <laughs> this is all right so this is the front this is one front this is the back and this is the other front that's been taken off, and I left the yarn attached. So, this is my robe. It's fantastic. And it's been wonderful to have it on my lap. It's been, it's been a little chilly this past week or so. Mm -hmm. And so this has been lovely. But 
I have been doing everything but sleep knitting. <laughs> Which we this. have done in the past. And it doesn't I, end up well. And I vow not to do sleep knitting again because, no, it doesn't end up well at all. I don't do that. Do you that. remember when, when I was I was casting off <laughs> and then I, I, we put it down. Like, I was casting off and fell asleep in the chair and apparently just decided to keep knitting. And so <laughs> mom... I think dad came in because mom and I both had fallen asleep uh, in the living room. It was sleep knitting. Sleep knitting. So <laughs> it's father, very bad. Father comes in and goes, wakes us both up and says, "You guys need to go to bed." And so we did. And so the next morning, mother We're and I looked at, at our knitting, and I was <laughs> like, "Mom, I'm pretty sure I was casting off." And she goes, "I'm pretty sure you were too." And I was like, "I'm pretty sure that's not I'm casting off." <laughs> so apparently, we can knit in our sleep. Follow a pattern, not so much. Not so much, and certainly not cast off. No, no I, I'm, I'm trying to swear off sleep knitting. Um, so anyway, I have really moved along in this, so I'm very excited about that. Period. That is super exciting. And um, I have a few other things on the needles that I, I did do br too. bring with me. I did bring oh. with me this week, so that's good. Oh, what else do you have? Um, so I have the lefty for Lauren that I'm started. I love the lefty. It's such I a great know. size. So Lauren, my cousin Lauren, picked out these colors. It's um, Catherine and, oh crud, um, Catherine and the pair for that, uh, Gal Noir, maybe, for, uh, by Miss Babs in Yummy. Oh, that's in Yummy. nice. It's not coming up right because the color, here we go. There you go. Um, lighting in my apartment light. is not the greatest. Uh, Where I can are turn my on keys? the other I have a flashlight. I'm going to forget my keys. Okay. okay. Um, or you could turn on the light by the T. That might help. Well, it can't hurt, but I'm yeah. thinking flashlight. So, this is for my cousin. I don't have that many leaves on it yet, but hopefully it will get there. She did pick out these colors quite a while ago. I think she's forgotten about it, which is good. Um, so then I can surprise her with it. Um, but yeah, so that, that's another thing I've been working on. Ah, uh, yes. You are so helpful. <laughs> um, so I that's, think it works. I think it does. It's beautiful. Okay. So it's, it's beautiful. It's just, it has been living in my purse. I think I need to not have it live in my purse any longer. <laughs> um, and then other than that, I've still been knitting on the old forge, but it's, it's under a few things, so I won't show you. Um, oh, you're only going to, you're going to, like, hmm. what is that yarn for? This, oh, I wanted it, so I wanted your opinion, and I wanted it on camera, because I figure it's easier. Okay. So, this is a random fandom colorway from Nerd Girl Yarns. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Brave Man, Good Man, Tin Man. It's based on the Tin Man series that was on sci-fi. It's a re, not a retelling of the, of Oz. It's like a takeoff. Kind of a sequel and remake. Interesting. Yeah, it's now on Netflix, I think. Maybe it got removed from Netflix. But it's one of those... It, it was... It's really cute, actually. But that's what this is based on. And I'm thinking, because another girl posted in the group that she paired it with um, Handbook for the Recently Deceased, which is a limited Halloween colorway, which then, of course, is not available after tomorrow. So I have, That's I wanted mom's opinion. Yeah, it's really pretty together. So I'm thinking about getting a skein and then doing a two color shawl with it. Oh, nice. I for think fall be... or maybe as a, you know, gift box. That would be nice. Um, yes. But, yeah. Yes. But this is on Conspiracy, which is um, Merino Cashmere Nylon, uh, 801010. Um, so it's a lovely, so it, it's got a little bit of a halo and it's, it's just, very yummy. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, I like, oh, and I like, good. I like Nerd Girl a lot. So. She does. I do. I have a problem. She does. <laughs> it's a little bit of a problem. Just a little problem. Just a little problem. Um, and then I think that's oh, so yes. I love this. Yes. So on really Instagram, was it in? I think it was Instagram or Tumblr. I can't remember, but I follow them on both. I think I saw this shawl. And it's beautiful. It's called the Key of Life Shawl. It's a knit along, but it's run by Art Yarns. So you have to have Art Yarn to get the next parts because it's a it's a mystery knit along kind of thing. Um, you need to be using Art Yarn. Art Yarn. And I had gotten this Art Yarn 
uh, Ensemble Glitter uh, in March yes. at the, the Yarn Crawl. Uh, Long, Long Island, Island Yarn Crawl. Mm -hmm. um, because it also it applies to my rules. It's uh, silk cashmere with a Lorex gold not, speckles. So it's not wool. It's not wool. And so I realized I needed it a second color. So I got this beautiful, it's called um, burnt almond or almond oh, something. Cool. It's, it's beautiful. Um, and this is the act, this is just the plain without the glitter in it. Um, but it, it almost matches the, the gold glitter. glitter. Yeah. So you want my flashlight? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. That from that angle so, is the right color. So I think this will be a beautiful shawl. I need to figure out which I want to be the main color, which I want to be the contrast color, and then I think I might swatch um, a little bit for it, I just because it. it'll be beautiful. I love it. Um, so that's that's stuff I have in my hands right now. Why don't you go for a few? Okay. Well, this is my ever-present knitting in the car. Some people finish a featherweight in like three weeks. I've been working on this for a year. And by three weeks, she means our friend uh, T Knit Pearl on Ravelry, yes. who can finish a sweater in a week. She's absolutely amazing, incredibly talented. She is. So, no, like this This is not no shade, no, 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 no nothing. No, I'm, She's wonderful, and we just, we wish we could knit as fast as she does, especially for sweaters. Well, and I'm easily distracted. Oh, yes. Shiny. So, anyway, this is, yeah, anything shiny. This is. Uh, to replace a sweater that I managed to snag the sleeve on the newel post and rip it to shreds in a, in a way that it couldn't be repaired. So then my featherweight, I started um, to have some kind of easy knitting where you didn't really have to think, car knitting, that kind of thing. And I had it with me today so I could knit at the open house, uh, or at least before the open house started. Um, and so I got a few more rows done. I desperately need the sweater, but it hasn't really moved along because there's so many other things that I'd rather be working on. Is that and that's, lace? This is Miss Babs lace, the two ply lace. Yet, okay. yet, yet, yet. It's yet, so it is um, her black yet, and I love the, the fact that it's two ply. Um, I'm sure I have. I'm looking it up on Ravelry for Mom. Yeah, um, I love the fact that it's two ply because it's extra sturdy. And I really love it, and I finally got it so it's knitting at the right size, because I didn't like the fabric that, um... You keep talking, I'll keep okay. looking. Okay. I didn't like the fabric that the correct size needle was making, so I went uh, down a couple needle sizes, and I have it on my Darn Pretty Needles, whoops, which are flying all over the place. Um, they are the multicolored ones that I've had before, and I, I love it, and I worked on it today, and... Who knows, one of these days I'll actually finish it. Um, but I have so many things. My vote came. I didn't. I don't think I brought it with me. Oh, so oh yes, I got a text message saying, my vote came and it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. So what else I have in here? This is something that I'm probably going to start tomorrow or Tuesday. This is... Uh, is a second version, a second one of this pattern called Come Sail Away. And as you can see, the pattern is of a sailboat on waves in using knits and pearls. And I had made one for my dad out of this color green yarn. It is, oh my goodness. Malabrigo? Yes, it is Malabrigo DK. I don't even remember. I don't either. Um, but your featherweight is actually in, it's in, uh, yet in Obsidian. Ah. Because uh, Babs has a few different blacks. Um, I think it's just the way the things The Obsidian split. is a true black, which is nice. Now you want to go and find it. Yes, the, I'm going the, to find uh, it. Sailboat? Yes, I will go find it. Um, anyway, the, the yarn is one that a friend of ours was destashing, the same one who destashed the mug. And my father's favorite color is green. We made him, uh, Elizabeth and I made him a sweater last Christmas. I did the body and she did the sleeves and he loves it. I'll loves put, it. Uh, we'll put a link to the Instagram that I did of it that I took of my grandfather in it. He is so happy. He wears it daily. All the time. Um, and it's, it's the cutest because 
We weren't. We we were pretty sure he was knitworthy since he wore a god awful ugly <laughs> uh, sweater. That was over like forty five years old. I made it when I was in high school. I couldn't believe he still it had was it. So bad. It was. Oh, the color had almost drained out of it. It was partially acrylic, if not all acrylic. I mean, it was what I did at the time. I think I was sixteen or seventeen years old. It was the best I could do at the no, time. No, it was fine. It was just the an and he loved color. it, but. It was it was abysmal to look at, so we made him a much better sweater. Yes, out it was, of Miss Bab. Miss Bab. Miss Bab. Yeah, it was a, it's um it's a pattern by Jared. I think it's the Timber Timberline by yes, Jared Flood. By Jared Flood. It's beautiful. It's complicated. We made this small. But beautiful. Oh my god, and it's still a little big on him. But he loves it, and it's nice and thick. Um, I did. I I do think I definitely should have gone with Nana's measurements for his arms. So. <laughs> You, you all have, unless you've met us, you, you don't know this, but I have very long arms. like Much like, longer than mine. For standard patterns, I usually add to the sleeves to make them actually fit. My standard sleeve is... Like if you... Oh my god, look at this. This is... You can't tell because of the aspect of where we are, Hold but... the hands up. But like... Yeah, like, we're like three inches different. <laughs> I do an 18 inch sleeve and I think you do a 22 inch sleeve. Depending. I usually I usually try and get to just past my wrist because she when likes I it a little longer well, than I do. And also cuz when I move, it'll bunch and it'll bring it to my wrist right. and I would rather have things a little longer and bring it to my wrist Makes than sense. the than it be at my wrist and then be short. Right. Cuz that just that's an I awkward, awkward and being that I have like long high arms, water pants only in a sweater. I hate I hate having sleeves that are too short. Yes. It is my biggest pet peeve about my blazers. It is my biggest pet peeve about pretty much everything I own that I is store-bought. I we'll starting to set up the sewing machine so we can make you blazers that fit. We might. Mm. Maybe. Anyway, this is Emerald. My darling daughter has looked up yes. the page and it's, it's Emerald. I wouldn't have thought Emerald, but it is a green. So anyway, I'm making him another uh, panel of this and that will make a nice lap robe. Um, the Blanket. Red, yeah, lap blanket, lap whatever. Yes, something he can keep Lays on his lap. on his lap while he watches television. Um, and I think he and he loves boats, so I think it'll be nice. And the the, the panel actually covers over my lap, so I think it'll quite fit his. Mm -hmm. So the two panels seen together will be his Christmas present, um, and I think that'll be nice. Well, one of his Christmas presents. I also have a scarf that I'm hoping to get done. Um, but that's what this is. So that's, that, that works. And then we had dyed yarn. So we went, this is, this is a continuation Hi, of when we went to Neighborhood Fiber Co. in, uh, April for a dyeing workshop and mom essentially called me the week before or texted me and was like, do you want to go do this? I was like, Okay, uh -huh. <laughs> are we really driving down to Baltimore and, and back in a day? And mom was like, we can take your car, but I'll drive. <laughs> and, and we I did. was like, okay. I picked her up at 6 a.m. And we went on down to Baltimore and we made it just in time. We made it We made it with a little time to spare. That was and, fine. And we got free parking because it was Sunday. And we had a blast. We did. It we was did. right before Karita's wedding. So she was, you know, getting she excited. She was brilliant. She really um, was. And, and of was, course, being in the building with all that wonderful yarn that she dyes yes. was just inspiring. She has a 12 burner stove it, 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 with a it room amazing. for a big pot on every burner. It was great. So mom made a gradient set as she's about yes. and to make a sweater, as mm -hmm. you're about to see. So this is the first skein. And I have just attached... The second skein. Now this has a lot less yellow than the first skein had, and I love the way that it's striping. Um, so I hope that by next week I'll at least have a couple more inches done. Although I have to say my my dressing gown is calling me. Um, but so I do plan to keep working on the dressing gown and on this because I really want to see the difference in the color as. Uh, the sweater grows. So what she did was she had she she had an idea of of beach, yes. um, specifically yes. Avalon, New Jersey, because that's where we both grew up. Our yes, with during our the summers. summer. Um, she with her parents, obviously me with my grandparents, um, and so she made this gradient where 
you know, it's as you're going further, further out into the beach. So the first game was a lot of the yellow, a lot and of the then, sand, and, and then, then into the light blue. The second one is more, a little bit of yellow, and then has light a blue, and a little bit dark, dark blue. blue. The last one, I think, has very little yellow, maybe no yellow, mostly light blue, mostly dark, and then more really dark, dark blue. blue. And really dark blue at the end. Um, but because you we did it in like dip dyeing for the for our full skein it's not a true gradient so no. it was more of a self it's more of a variegated mm -hmm. um so she's now knitting a, a, a sugar maple by Karina Karina Spencer and i so this is where you get this really nice detail in the front uh, i think that the neckline is going to be just a lot of fun uh, yeah. and these are the sleeves i mean that's where the sleeves end that's nice. It's really nice. I'm thinking about making one in. I may decide after I finish it that I want longer sleeves, and at that point I'll take out the ribbing and I'll just continue on down. Yeah. Um, but I really like the neckline. And so, you know, give me another three inches, and I think it'll we'll be able to see the difference yeah. in the coloration. And that's on Studio Sock from Neighborhood. And when you take the class at Neighborhood, you get three skeins that come with the cost of the class. So this sweater is representative of my three skeins. There's another sweater that I had made previously that I did on a silk. It's a cobblestone DK. Combination. I will look that up right now. And Because if you haven't just determined this as of yet watching us. She looks we, at the details. We don't do lists and notes. Mom, you know, texted me yesterday and said, why don't we podcast after I pick you up from the airport? And I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> why not? So this is me after a flight, a little frazzled, but And this oh is well. me after working all day at an open house. Yay! So it's, so I have my computer in my lap just so that we can look up the different projects we're talking about. Uh, mission hand? Yes. Mission? Um, it's cobblestone sock, not DK. I'm so used to seeing their DK because I I love DK. I have a need for DK. Um, also because it knits up faster for me. Uh, <laughs> and I enjoy instant gratification. What are you talking about? Um, which we will get to because I need to show you another pattern that I need. In okay. okay. Um, <coughs> so which, this is cobblestone sock. Um, it's... It's heaven in your hand. It really is. I would knit with that forever. I mean, it really is beautiful um, to knit with. And it is a, a blue-purple um, yeah. that I dyed it. And when, one time when we're at my house, I will bring, bring it, it along. Out. Yeah. But it was, I loved it. I, we, it was really interesting. We had the purple, and we threw in some aqua, and then I threw in black at one end, and we just let it sit. I didn't mix, didn't do anything it like that. Beautiful. And the way it came out was nicely mottled. And you see a little bit of the aqua, a lot of the purple, deep blue, mm -hmm. and then this black actually made it like a navy blue. And again, it wasn't a gradient because we did it. I did it when it was in the skein, so it's this end was the navy blue, and there was aqua in the middle, and there's something else, and a little purple down at this end, so it repeats in um, so it pools. rows. So it, it'll it pool. pulls in rows type of thing, yeah. in stripes. Yeah. And I like the sweater. I really do. So it was really pretty. Yeah. So I have that. And then, what else do I have in here? In her bag of goodies. I was bad. I didn't tell you this. Oh. What'd you do? Sorry. I, I have noted elsewhere that we are not totally family friendly, but... Oh, what'd you do? I bought another set of needles. <laughs> oh, she, hold on. She she pulls this out and she just puts it on her lap and she just looks at you. You saw the look, but she just looks at me. <laughs> you are too bad. I, well, I know it's because you gave me. Where are the pretties? I gave her my purple metal ones, so I was down a set. <sighs> And oh, they're pretty. They're very I, fall. Another set of darn pretty needles. So I exchanged the. Per, they're exchange. very, very fall like. They're yes. a bit darker, a bit more spooky, and. Yes. They're so beautiful. She had my purples. I do have your purples. I don't. I think they're at the bottom of the bag. And actually, one of the patterns that I'm thinking they're about. Freaking gorgeous. Knitting. Mm -hmm. Um. Calls for ten and a half. I don't remember which of the patterns that I'm thinking about doing calls mm. for ten and a half, but 
There's, it, this set goes from four to ten and a half and knitting with those needles they're sharp enough that they catch the yarn it's easy to work the lace with them and yet they have enough give because they're wood that my hands don't hurt um, anywhere close to what the metals do so as much as I love there's the purple ones in your I have them on a in a project um, so the the purple ones we're talking about are these darn pretty aluminum matte purple they have this great shine I don't know if you can hear it but it's 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 this great matte finish that makes that sound I love that sound I love this finish it's great um, I just can't find the set. It's a smaller set. It's only about four, four sizes, five sizes. No, we lost. No, it has, it's from four to 10. Oh, okay. Four to 10. So it's six sizes. Um, so those are the 10, these are the nines. Um, but I just don't, we I don't remember. can't lay remember. our hands at it at the moment. I just don't remember. It hurt me to give them away, but I, I you know. You know I'll use them. Yes. There's no sense in hurting my hands. No. So I, I picked up these. And then this is the other set I had. This didn't you know about. Oh, okay. I was going to be like, seriously, Mama? No, I, I can be bad. <laughs> Were we really that bad? No, we weren't. Not? Okay, good. We weren't. So the reason I'm not as fond of these is that they're short. I really come to find I like the five inch rather than the three and a half. And oh, these, these are, are three, three and a half. Halves. Those are nice. That yeah. might actually be what I can actually knit that freaking little freaking... So anyway, the fours are obviously some I'm knitting a, an Alet by it from Ali Brosh's um, webcomic for my boyfriend, as I said. But actually knitting it is so frustrating um, because it's a very small circumference with bulky yarn. Oh my goodness. This is my I'm going to kill it face. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that that currently is in timeout. So the pattern I wanted to show you yes. is called the Bum Hugger Bolero. It's oh. by Knititude. Um and it's fantastic. Make um, the picture bigger. I am. Oh. So it's just stocking at it is like the easiest freaking thing ever. In Aaron. No. Or chubby. Super bulky. Super bulky. Super bulky. I'm thinking. You'll be done in an afternoon. I know. I'm thinking. So it's another Halloween limited edition colorway oh, by, nice. by Krista. It's called I Myself <gasps> Am Strange and Unusual. It's a purple and blue I love and black. That. I really want it's to really do pretty. it. I really want to do it. I think I only I only need three skeins. That's good. Because her, because she is a, a super bulky called Rant, and she, it, it, they're as big, the balls that they come in are as big as your head. Uh, but I could knit it in, in a weekend, or not even a weekend, in an afternoon, and have a fantastic I Valero thing. I think I've lost a skein of yarn. It's I, either in the car or it's at home. Well, I think it may be home, but I, God knows where. Because um, I thought I had a blue, but maybe no, not. No, she didn't have blue. Remember? Oh, and that's why I bought that's this. That's why you got that one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is yarn that's coming apart uh -huh. for, I think I meant a scarf for my mom. She did. You said it last week. I know, I know. But I don't think I had the yarn. Yeah, uh, you might have brought out some of it. So there's silver and purple and a multicolored that has all of the colors in it, and then a black. They're, and they're all sparkly. They're all uh, Margo, um, it, which is a 77% mohair, 19% nylon, 2% metallic polyester, and 2% viscose. And there's 163 yards in each one. It's made by St. Charles. Yarn of Italy. Huh. Um, yes. So fancy. So I because my grandmother whether... deserves nothing the but the fancy. Yes. So she is the Emily Gilmore of our... Yes. Get more girls. But I have so much of this. You do. I could actually make her a cardigan. I don't... Mm, it's a that's little the loud for That's her. the pattern that I think I could use the ten and a half needles for. That's a little loud for Nan. I know, but for something but if it's on... But it's... If it's like... I mean, maybe come up with a few different patterns and show her at Thanksgiving. No, I want to be almost done with it by Thanksgiving. Well, I think she'd wear it if what? it's like a formal type thing. Like she could wear it to a New Year's or a Christmas thing. I don't you think know? they're going to much formal stuff. No, anymore. but I mean, I think she like I don't know what she would wear a cardigan like that to though. 
I think it's a I great would, idea. I know you and I. Both. I would just throw it on. Right. I mean, so I think right. if you I think I'll make a scarf. She doesn't wear the shawl I made her. I know. I did find a pattern. Okay. And I, it's one of my favorites. Oh. Yes. So it's not really a scarf. It's a square shawl. By our friend Michael Dvorjan, um, right. who was a network right? designer. I think yes. I said that right. Um, he is Apteno Knits on Ravelry. Yes. Um, and he, no, that's my Cthulhu. Well, I must have left it at home. You must have. Um, but he is next time. He's known for his uh, double knitting lace and cables. This um, is cables. This is cables. This okay. is cables. So it will be cables, and I have enough yardage. And I think it will work. And it'll just be sections of color. You think at Thanksgiving we can steal the shawl I made her and block it for her? No. Because she won't let me block it? No. I don't think so. I don't think they're going to be a thing. She doesn't wear it. Well. It, I mean, and it's because she doesn't want to get it ruined. And I made it for her to wear and it matches her winter coat. It just makes me sad. Her mother was exactly the same I way. I know. You've said my grandmother wouldn't wear really nice things that you made for her or bought for her because she was afraid of ruining them. And um, it's a when Fabergé. she passed away, we managed to find a lot of things still in original packages <sighs> saved away. So oh, well. we know she loved it, but it never really got used, and I that mean, was a shame. She picked the colors. I had I had a whole set of like five or six colors, I and I helped. She had me. I know I had them because she said she wanted it to match her I winter coat. I think it's also because she's they're not going and doing many things, and so it's mm -hmm. just it's a little it's a little for. I feel like she might think it's a little formal. Maybe. Maybe. No, they're not going and doing much. No. 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 Um. But yeah. So I think that'll be beautiful. What is so. This? Okay, so as we keep saying, we are very similar to the Gilmore Girls. And yes, we are very excited for A Year in the Life. Mm -hmm. I just showed Mom the trailer that came out this week. and Oh, it's amazing. It's phenomenal, mostly because we both could totally see the interaction between Emily and Lorelai happening between us. Ma, they're taking away the, the dining room chairs. They're his. They were mine. They're his now. I'm getting new ones. Emily's actual quote from the trailer is, They don't bring me joy. <laughs> because she is conmari in her jeans. And Emily, I, can, I can't believe that she has jeans. I I think they're probably a recent purchase or something probably. from, you know, that, that Lorelei left or something like that. That, you know, it's, it's, as she says in the trailer, she's been one half of a whole for 50 years and now no longer has that half. And so it will be very emotional. It comes out the day after Thanksgiving. And we have family commitments usually that day. So we will... Let's we'll see how to squeeze it all yeah, in. Yeah, because that needs to be watched. All right, so what is this? So what I'm showing Mama on my computer is the Gilmore Girls A Year in the Life Mystery Cow. It's hosted by um, Marinade Designs. Um, Kristen Ashbow Helmrich. Um, and she had designed a kit. To go with it. However, all of the kits are sold out now, and the dyer, who is an indie dyer on Etsy, cannot do any more orders and get them out in time for uh, Thanksgiving anymore. So I'm thinking I'm going to do it, but I have to do it in yarns of my own. That you have. That I have, yes. Thank you. Words are difficult. Uh, so it calls for two skeins of Aran or worsted weight. Um, you know, main color, and the color they have suggested is a white and black, kind of like birch trees that are in Stars Hollow. Uh, and then they have minis of, uh, which are about 50 yards, apparently, as per the pattern. Um, trying not to give away any, I haven't bought the pattern yet, this is just what I've seen posted by other people, um, so that I could figure out yardage things, so, because I'm trying not to give away any secret sauce, because it is a paid pattern. Um, in like a burgundy, a purple, a like limey green, and an and orange. An orange. And because those are, you know, kind of fall colors. Like they say in the in the description, they're kind of, it's the fall colors, but it's also kind of colors that represent each season. And I don't know, I kind of like the colors together. So I went stash diving before we started recording, and I found I have leftovers 
from my Bad Moon Rising um, gradient set. So I think I'm going to use this lighter purple, which is turning out blue, probably because I'm blue in my sweater. Um, <laughs> this That's odd. All right, this let's also. Whoa. Uh, no, it's still coming out pretty blue. It's I'll a, it's a, it's a it, purple. It's a purple. It's a purple. Um, it's an easy how it's that a, happens. It's an approximate. It's a, it's about 40 to 50 yards, so I can fudge it with some other purples. Like, I have this darker purple um, that dark. I can fudge um, the ends with. And then I have this orange that is just beautiful. And then I have this little, like, burnt orangey to fill in. Because I also have about 47 yards, I think I calculated. And then I found, I had gotten this. It's a Malabrigo. Oh, my goodness. It's Malabrigo Rio, so it's um, it's worsted weight. Um, from a oh friend my. of mine. Um, so I think I'll use that for the red or yes. for one of the colors. And then I have this green, which is Sheridan Circle Studio Worsted from Neighborhood Fabric Co. Um, and I had started making something that was linen stitch in it. I can see it. And I'm never, ever going to finish it because I hate linen stitch. Linen stitch is what I made this thing out yeah, of. Yeah, your bag. And it's beautiful. It just takes forever. It does. And ever. And ever. And I lined so, it it's with beautiful. mermaids. Because my mother is adorable. It's so cute. <laughs> um, So I think those will be my four colors. But I, I haven't decided because I also have this beautiful blue multicolored color as well. <gasps> I like that. That I might use. So I what are you going to use for the two solids? I haven't decided yet. I have to, I think... I would do this, but I don't have any DK that I haven't already said what it's going to be. If I find more, I'm, I can put some aside for you. Well, I don't know. You know me and Charles. I know, and, and so I think maybe I'll make it, and then maybe if I if you like it, you'll... If I like it, then... Because I like the fact that they're it's supposed to be... or They're releasing a part of the pattern for the four days after... Um, well, I think it starts on, sorry, I'm reading, Clue 1 is released on Thanksgiving. So then you get Clue 2, the day the Gilmore Girls is released, and then, so that's Friday. Saturday you get Clue 3, and Sunday you have Clue 4. So I'm thinking... What, this is what, a cow? This is a, yeah, a mystery knit along. Okay. So I'm thinking that if I can get it done, I'll have a new, I'll have a new shawl or a new something... We don't know what it is. It's it's under where is it? It's a cowl. Sorry, okay. it's a, it's cowl, and I'm hoping that it's long enough to be like a double cowl because that's kind of my favorite nice. cowl. Um, even if it's not, it's fun, and it has it me using fun. up some bits, so that's nice. See, I don't have any bits. I would have to be. It's, I think, because I, I have, overbuy for sweat. Like, well, yeah. I buy, I overbuy more than you do because I want to make sure I have enough to make my sleeves. Right. So I usually buy, right. you know. Well, and I don't have DK. I've got Yeah, you've got all kinds of fingering, fingering and such. So I'm thinking so. I'm either going to check out uh, Neighborhood or um, Dragonfly and see what they have. I, mean, I have two skeins of, of a fingering that I got from Stephen B. last year mm -hmm. that would be a nice takeoff on that. Well, wait, why don't so we we'll see, let, what we'll it, see what the pattern is? And, and maybe then I maybe can you can fingering. do it in fingering, yeah. That would work. Yeah, that and that would be fun. That'd be fun. I can figure out cows. Yes. I can wear cows. Cows is good. Yes. Um. So, yeah, so that's that's what I've been thinking about. So, those are the those are the things, those those two patterns. That's cool. That bum hunger, hugger oh, thing. That, that's One of the amazing. other girls in Nerd Girl actually posted about that, and like it was still on. In it was only on Instagram at the time. It wasn't on Ravelry. It just got posted to Ravelry this week, and so I'm like, must have. Yeah, that's that's um, really good. I think also that is something that I need to also get in like all of the super bulky apaca I can find. Oh, that's make, just make like five several, of them. Yes, yes. It's so it's a it's a bolero. But in super bulky, up, if you I don't hold know. it up, can look show. Yeah, let me go to full. Let me full screen it. So it's a super in super bulky. Now you're getting the reflection of the computer there, showing. That's there you good. go. Um, it's super bulky. It's a bolero. It's really pretty. I. It's gorgeous. I think it'd even be wearable at work. I think so. Um, 
with a nice, like, with a nicer top under it, um, even, like, a, you know, a sleeveless mm -hmm. or a short sleeve, nicer, even if it's just a plain v-neck, but, like, in a nice fabric, that could still be really nice, um, I could actually, like, wear leggings, or not, you know, super opaque leggings with this thing, which is yeah. nice, because... Like pants or leggings? I wear jeans every day to work, because I kind of have to, since I'm in construction, um, but sometimes you really don't want to wear pants. <laughs> It just sounds really odd. I know, but like, it's not that pants, it's jeans. Like, they're very comfortable. I will, I completely understand why some people are like, you're so lucky like you get to wear I jeans. I said I left my husband in London. I don't like yeah. wearing pants. I do like, the thing is, I like, you know, it's it's just because you, I wear them every day and it, it's pretty much the same pair of, pa of jeans like every day. you want to go bare butt naked. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I'm just sick of jeans sometimes. <laughs> no, it's not that I don't like wearing pants. I like wearing pants. <laughs> I just get sick of wearing yes. jeans every day to work sometimes. And um, wearing nicer pants would get messed up being in construction. Yeah, let's, and I let's give and, a full explanation yes, here of why and, we're not wearing and the, kind the reason, of pants I wear. Right, and the reason and if I worked in the main office, that would be a different story. I work in a field office, so I am walking the building. I I blatantly put my hand in like compound before by accident because it looked dry and I leaned and wasn't <sighs> not so much yeah that was fun um so things like that I mean I my boots I wear um I, I have a nice pair of La Canadian boots that I wear almost daily uh once it gets to be fall and they are dusty within two hours if I've walked in with them being clean um, they are completely the dusty. It's everything that's zone. around the construction zone. I wore... Dr. Sockin asked how you were. I saw him oh, today. Oh, one of mom's colleagues who is a environmental engineer. And Tim, Dr. Oh. Ward asked. He came over and said hi to me, and he said, how's Elizabeth? And I told him what you were doing, so Good. everybody said hi. Good. Mm -hmm. They're wonderful. They are. Um... So, yeah, so I think I need this sweater in all of the colors and all of it's the fibers. It's gorgeous. I can't wait to see it. I know. I, I think that it. order is going to go in today. All right. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but other That's than... exciting. Yeah. And you so, know that Inferno is out now. I'm trying to figure out if I want to go see it or not. Have we read that one? I don't think so. I think I own it. Or Do I think you? it came over to the to the apartment. I think you decided you didn't want it. and it came, Or you put it in a box or something. So I have it. It's right over there. You do? Yeah, it's right in there. It's in that cabinet. It was one of the first things that came over to the apartment. Odd. I don't remember reading it. I I don't remember either. I'm thinking of downloading it on audiobook and listening it to on my commute well, this week. And then maybe next sense. week we can we'll go see it. If you wanna take the book with we'll you and you see. can No, I don't want to take the book. I've got all kinds okay. of things to do. No, this is when I'll have to see without having read the book. Okay. Yeah. Um, cause I can, cause I was thinking. So have you let Cassie know that we're coming up? Yes, I have. So we talked about it last week about how we want to go up to like Saugerties and Kipsy yeah. Jill uh, Draper. and Jill Draper's, um, I think it's, she's when it's up in Red Hook. two hours to get yeah. from, from Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck to, to Kingston. Yeah. So, um, I texted Cassie last night, two nights ago, um, mm -hmm. and she said the 13th is good. The Sunday. The Sunday. Absolutely. Yeah, because I knew, I wasn't sure if Dad was working the He's Saturday. He's working. Okay. So, yeah, she said the 13th is good. Excellent. We can leave early. Yeah. And go up. Yeah. Sounds good. Um, yeah, because I was like, are you free? And she was like, yes. And I was like, would you like to no, hang that Friday out? No, that's when we're going to have lunch. Yes. Okay. Um, and so I asked, like, I well, horse. Would, a I little. Horse. You are horse. You had open house today. Um, but I asked her then, would you like to hang an adventure with mom? Mom wants to go look at some yarn shops. And she was like, adventuring sounds wonderful. <laughs> so I said I'd let her know the plan. Yes. Okay. It sounds good. Yay. Excellent. Um, so we will have a report in two weeks yes. about Jill Draper Yarns. Uh, adventuring. Jill Draper Yarns shop and the shop in Saugerties. Yes. We looked it up. It's, it's tea, tea and, and something. something and yarn. Yes. Uh, and then there was one other place I thought that you wanted to go up there. We'll look it up. We'll look it up. It'll be great. It um, but that is our next adventure. No, our next adventure is seeing Rent next weekend. That's true. 
That's exciting. That is exciting. We're going to see that at the Tillis Center out yeah. on Long Island. And uh, one of my uh, friends from high school is actually playing Mimi in the production. That would be so great. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Saturday? No, it's, it's Sunday. Sunday. Sunday night. Sunday All night, right. yeah. I have to remind your dad because I'm afraid he's going to have me out on the boat trying to get it ready for, for storage. storage. I know. I told him to put it. I think he put it in his phone. I'll make sure. Well, we're we're hanging out on Wednesday this week, right? Yes. We're going to go to that talk? Yes. Yes. The, I don't remember if we told you, but... So we'll slip by knit, yes. say hi, and then... Well, I thought you were slipping by knit... What are you doing? You're going to Because I'm taking the train straight to port. Okay, well then maybe you and Dad can pick up dinner for me. Okay. Do we, we really want to get, do we want to get that again? Or do we want to get burgers? I think we could get burgers I from Bear Burger. I think we should get burgers. Well, you know what I like. I know. All right. That sounds good. Um, Your so, dad wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because. He's getting his social calendar ready. Because my father, even in, when right. I was in college, no. Well, when I was in college, he would ask mom if she had heard from me. Mom would say, oh, yes, I talked. You know what? She texted me a while ago. She's fine. Yeah. And he'd go, what's she doing? <laughs> what's she up to? What do you mean? You don't know. I'd say, you have a phone. Call her. I once, Dial the number. I once got a phone call that was from the house because they have a, you know, have a landline. And yes. so it was at the house number. And all I hear is... Obviously, mother is not holding the phone. Obviously, she like put it on the counter and dialed it for him. And she's going, She picked up! Just talk to her! You keep asking me what's going on. Why don't you ask her? She picked up the phone, so why don't you talk to her? And I was like, Okay. <laughs> Obviously, this is something I this don't know. This is an know. issue. Uh, yeah. yeah. Obviously, I'm this is so, an issue. You no, know, you have a phone. Just dial the number. Yeah. I don't have ESP. No. So, yes, we're going to be at NET. It is the first Wednesday of the month. So I, I'm going to run by NET, say hi, and then there is this fellow who is giving a, a sailing talk at, uh, the, yacht at the Yacht Club. And, and we've gone to a few of the, the his other talks. Yes. Uh, the first one we went to was he went from Vancouver down the coast to... Antarctica? Uh, well, he first went down the coast and down um, Argentina and around the point and, you know, Antarctica and such, and from there went across and over to uh, South Africa um, because he did not want to go up the coast at that trip. He has a steel hull boat that was actually made for this kind of expedition. Well, it was made for ice breaking. Right. It, so his second talk was about when he went the Northwest Passage. I missed this one. Apparently polar bears. You have to be very yes. afraid of polar bears. They'll come on the boat. Yes. I can't even imagine. You go on deck with your rifle. Shotgun. 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 Um, so I think this one is about his trip to Brazil. Yes. So, so this will be yeah. fun. Yes. Um, All right. So I'll tell Dad that he can pick you up and you can get bear burgers. Mm -hmm. And I'll meet you at the club. Okay. That sounds great. Yeah, that does. That I love good. bear burger. I know you do. You're so <laughs> cute. Um, but it's... It's been inter it's been interesting mostly because the first one was in May, April, something like that. It was no. early in the it was early because it was when Dad was it was it was early. I think. Well, no, that was Mary and Ed yes. who did that. Yes. So they've been doing this kind of a Periodic. advanced cruising yes talk series, yeah. uh, and Mom. Found, uh, got the email from the club uh, and was like, "Your father can't go. Be my buddy." And I was like, "Sure, he I'm always racing up for being your buddy." Nice. And Mary and Ed were going to talk about coming up the uh, inland intercoastal, yeah. Yeah, intercoastal inland waterway from Florida up to Long Island, uh, which I thought always thought sounded fascinating. And that when I finally retired, if we could get a boat that we could, you know, kind of be here in the summer and then be down there in the winter, mm -hmm. makes sense to me. And that all my yarn can travel with me makes all kinds of sense. Anyway, found out they had a trawler. It was a great lecture. Ed was so excited that people wanted to come oh, listen God. to his lecture. He was blithering into nonsense. And Mary, Mary was, was just, like ready to kill him. And then Mary, the voice of reason, would pop in and really clarify the mess that he had made and then come back. He had an entire PowerPoint that he never turned on. Nope. 
Nope. The, one of his friends had done the PowerPoint slides for him, and he never turned it on. Yeah. And it would have been so much clearer if he had done that, but he was just overexcited. Like, oh, look at my friends who came to see me give this lecture. Oh. Yeah. Um, which is interesting because they've already left to go back down. Yes, they have left. Um, but, yes, yeah, so Dad then got to hear Mother's excitement over this, and Dad has now proclaimed he will never do that. So, because <laughs> I'm going, well, the next boat's going to be a trawler, and you know, in two or three years, we can just get that and we can live on the boat. And he goes, now he's he's scared because he thinks that, that we'll it's actually, actually going to happen on the boat in the wintertime. It says, look, there's problems going down the walkways, you know. And I said, yeah, but the boat's heated, it'll be fine, and I'll be able to see the water. And if we're at the dock, I'll have internet, I'll have phone, I'll have all that I need. We'll have shore power. It'll be great. I have him really He's scared. He's terrified. Yeah, he terrified. And so, of course, then, this also then eliminates the, well, I think I'll retire soon. Because then go. Mother goes, oh, then we'll live on the boat sooner. Yes. That'll and be great. And he then goes, maybe not. <laughs> And then goes off to the other room. Just fades right on off. Yes. Like, oh, I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. And I'm going, you can retire. It'll be great. We'll live on the boat. Then you'll have things to do on the boat. Because he doesn't really have hobbies except for sailing. And that's difficult to do at home. So he can do this on the boat. And it'll be wonderful. And he just kind of floats on off. Like, okay. That's about Kong. Yeah. Never you want to know what your grandfather did today? Is this appropriate? Oh, first, is this appropriate for the podcast? Yes. This okay. is stupid behavior not to emulate. Your father, <laughs> your grandfather called your father today, quarter to nine, to say that he had a flat tire. Could your father come and change it? We find out that he was at a friend's house last night, noticed he had a flat tire, drove home on a flat tire. Then this morning, got up and out at eight o'clock in the morning to go to the local garage without realizing it was Sunday. Therefore, the garage would be open, so he drove down there and back on the flat tire. And then finally called your father at quarter to nine to tell him he had a flat tire and couldn't come change it. And while your father was there, and asked him if he had AAA. Oh my God. And he says, I don't know, I may have AAA. <laughs> So anyway, your father changed the tire. This is the man who we also need to get made him AAA. Yeah, we do. But he also made not made fun of, but like he like picked on me because I took a turn too close in the rain on Fourth of July in my car in New York City, well Queens, and pom promptly popped the tire on the metal grate of the sewer on the curb. And then had to get my tire replaced, yada yada, because it wasn't, you know, I had to get the tire replaced. But my boyfriend and I were in the car at the time, and I I know how to change tire. I can do it, no problem. Of course, he jumps out, he does it, and it was wonderful, and so very caring, and so much appreciated. Uh, he then also then drives my car to the mechanics and gets the tire changed, because the next weekend was my cousin's wedding that we were driving yes. to Vermont and in my know, car, and I was really? taking... One of the other, other bridesmaids. bridesmaids. And I really didn't want to take my boyfriend's car because it's my family and, you know, my family. It's my event. Putting the miles on your car rather than Exactly. Car. Not that there's anything wrong with his car. It's just... It's a lovely car. It is. I just don't like driving it. That's also part of it. Oh, I haven't driven it yet, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, I've driven it once. And I'm just not a fan. Okay. Um, it does the hesitate thing that we don't like. Oh, well... But of course he same. loves that. It's the same make as, yeah. as my car. But he thinks it's great, and I'm just... Oh, I'm I don't. Sorry, I like a car that responds. I do, too. Um, anyway. But in other news, yes, so... Oh, really? So Grandpa decided to do all that, and then teases... Or after teasing me about having yeah. to have my car taken directly to the shop. Okay. Yes. Can... I'm sure he's forgotten all about it. Oh, that. he has. Of course he has. Mm -hmm. um, my grandfather is a wonderful human being. He is just... He's well, old. he's 92. Exactly. He's so 92. So he tends to forget things that don't really pertain right to him. Um, yeah, they. I think the elderly and tend to get self-centered as they get older. And his his second wife died about a year ago now. Yes. And so it's a rough time for him right now. But he's also always been a little frazzled in the last few. Well, yes. in the last year, he's been more frazzled than My usual. My first mother-in-law, Kathy Midline, 
Oh yeah. She was the voice of reason. Grandma was in that household. Grandma was so knew which way the parade yes. was going. She would handle all the small details like what they did, the budget, all kinds of stuff. And left him the major ideas like world peace, what what you know the Republicans and the Democrats should be doing. You know, things that he actually had no control over. Um, yes. and it worked out quite well. Yes. And you know, of course now whoops, he's um He's getting a lot more cautious. This is a man who would put on his fins and try to swim to China. Uh, and then when we go out sailing for the weekend, he wants us to call every day just mm -hmm. in case there might be a problem. And I keep reminding him that he would often go away for a month and never call home. And when I said something as well, you know, you'd hear if something went wrong. So now when he says something, oh, hey, you'll know, you'll hear if something goes wrong. And he goes, I was wrong about that. <laughs> Well, a little late and of her. course, he he and my grandmother traveled all over the world, and yeah. he now gets nervous when my cousin and I go travel, and it's like, Grandpa, you did all this. They went to Israel. They went to Egypt. They did they all did. of this stuff, and it's like we're it's, doing the same thing. And now I think you're it's, getting. I think it's because he's watching the news. I think it's the fact that they, you know he's he's getting older. He's watching a lot of the news, which is a lot of all of the bad stuff. There All is I can no say, he good did it news. himself. He did, um, but good. it's 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 endearing mostly because he's. I just hate having to report in. You know, I I've know had to report do. in all my life, and I really think at this time in my life, I can finally go where I want and do what I want without reporting in every day. God, give me strength. But Nana anyway. does love your photos you send her. Oh yes, yeah. so now I've I've reverted to sending taking pictures every day of where we are and sending my mother a, an email with the picture so then she feels like she's exploring with us and that seems to work pretty yeah. well so I am doing that yeah. yes um so yeah so that's kind of what's going on we're waiting for our sushi to arrive uh, for dinner should be shortly should be did I get any messages about it nope it's a pretty much five minutes ago that it should have been here but they're all this place is Late. And it's been raining. And it's been raining. Yeah. So if they're if they're if they soon longer, we'll call. Yeah. Um. But I think I think that's it. As you can tell, we are a very rambly podcast. We I have think it some, mostly was about knitting. Mostly, I think we're very much a mother daughter podcast. Though. <laughs> um. But well, we're knitting. Yeah. Yes. Funny thing is, is unlike uh, Gigi and Jasmine of the Knitmores, I mean, they do live down the block from each other, so they see each other a bit more often right. now than, than my mother and I do now. Um, they don't talk about their knitting during the week. They talk about it only on the podcast. See, uh -huh. we talk about everything. All, all the time. All the time. Um, so, yeah. But or I think text that's... All the or, time. Yeah. It's a lot. Uh, <laughs> wonderfully so. Yes. Um, sometimes you start it. I do sometimes start it. Yes. Because I miss you. Or oh, I want your sweet. opinion on something. Yes. Because I, yes. my mother has never minced words about fashion, <laughs> about really? what she thinks. Oh, you have told me I look like a sausage before. Well, you know, when you had other things you could put on, why look like a exactly. sausage? Exactly. But, like, I mean... It's need... merely a perception of right. things. But if I have need an opinion on something, like I needed the opinion on that color with with the yarn or on that pattern whether you thought it was a good idea for me or not or if I'm out shopping and whoever I'm with is not giving me a good enough opinion I call you or send you a photo usually no, never a problem because my mother will tell me if it's worth it or not I mean your response to the the bridesmaid dress was wonderful she goes well that's a dress <laughs> because it had lace it had lace detailing on a v-neck so oh. it did look a bit more um Sexy, I guess is the best way to put it. It just, it looked a it little... Looked very old. I'm sorry. It did. It really did. But it was beautiful on the day. It went well with the other bridesmaid it dresses. It went well with the other it bridesmaid dresses. It was not really the best dress for shape me. for you. None of, none of the options were. But that's how it goes. La vie. It was a bridesmaid dress. And probably, I'm thinking about chopping it off either in the knee or making it a high-low. I chop it off at the knee. Chop it off at the knee and I just make it that a short. I sucker off, yeah. It's beautiful. We'll see what we do with it. It's not really a winter dress, so yeah. probably be a, yeah. a summer project or a spring Something project like to that. wear it in the summer. Yeah. Maybe Easter. Maybe it could be my Easter dress. Yeah, 
That's possible. That's possible. It's very possible. Um, but yeah, my mother does not mince words. So when I oh, need wow. her opinion, I do text her. Um, so we do talk a lot, but we do. it works out well. Yep. I think we've run out of things to I say. I think we have run out of things to say. I, I think, think we're, we're hungry. Well. That, that too. Yes. <laughs> Definitely. So we're glad, anybody who returned, we're glad you came back. Thank you very much. I'm, oh, we ought to say who we are in Ravelry again. Okay. I'm C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R, which is Carolyn short. C is for Carolyn, and Predmore is the first seven letters of my last name, and it is an old uh, email uh, beginning, because way back in the dawn of time, email could only be eight letters, and that was mine. So when I think of myself, I think almost any time I think of myself, I think of myself as C-P-R-E-D-M-O-R. That's just who I am. Especially online, yes. Yes. Um, and I'm to Liz for you, T O O L I Z Z F O R Y O U. Um, and that's Ravelry. And that's Ravelry. And in, I'm, I'm Ravelry and Instagram. And I'm Ravelry and Instagram. And I believe Twitter. I don't use Twitter as much now that I have Instagram just because I don't feel like that's I have as Twitter much too, to say. But I don't say. think I tweet at all. See, I just don't feel like I have enough to say on Twitter that, like, is she, enough, but the photo, I can post a photo and, and hashtag or, you know, yes. put something on it, and that just seems to work a little bit better yeah. for me. Yeah, Um, and we are also on Instagram as knit, knitting in our jeans. Mm -hmm. I will put, all of this information is in the, the down, down bar. bar. Um, yeah. and yeah, I think. I think we're good. I think that's about it. So thanks. Thank you for coming and spending the last hour with us, and we hope to see you again soon. Yes. Bye. Bye.